welcome back today we are going to solve a problem related to torque rigid body the problem says the arrangement shown in figure 3.87 this one consists of two identical uniform solid cylinder we have a solid cylinder a and b both are identical and each of them has mass m on which two light thread are wounded symmetrically these two light threads are wounded symmetrically find the tension of each thread in the process of motion when it set to motion then at that time we need to find the tension on each string the friction of axle of the upper cylinder assumed to be absent here we will assume there is no friction okay this problem is exactly same as what we solved two video ago okay uh, let's try this first we will see okay here we have a, mm, it's not sorry let me draw one cylinder here there's a cylinder and the string only thing is that I'm taking the like side view not the front view of this and we have two string like this okay I'm just taking one and this cylinder is like rolling down and this one sorry this one is pivoted here yeah. if you draw the free body diagram then what you will get here free body diagram of this our first one uh, let me draw with some different color why to draw it again okay this one this cylinder actually in this cylinder uh, is mm, 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 th there's a string this a string is pulling this cylinder with tension T and here this uh, the same string is pulling this cylinder with tension T right and this one is revolving in this direction and this one is revolving in this direction okay first of all this T should be equal to this T so these two will get balance another one here we have mg okay here this t we have this t and another t is this way means this is total 2t okay it's the total 2t here and similarly you have we have a t here and t here the total 2t okay now this 2t 2t T minus mg should be equal to total ma because it's moving in this direction with acceleration a okay now you simply find out the mm, mm, alpha means uh, alpha and a okay here it's let's assume the rotation motion means rotational acceleration is alpha 1 and for this rotation acceleration is alpha 2 okay then total tension T and R TR means torque torque should be equal to what torque should be equal to I alpha I for cylinder MR square by 2 total M R square by 2 is I and this one is alpha 1 and here our torque is 2 torque then we will get the relation between alpha and this one the total alpha alpha 1 will be equal to 4 TR R and R both are is capital R small whatever both are, are same both are will same then that will get cancelled to so 4 TR by MR this is alpha 1 for alpha 2 is a similar story 2t is 2t is tangent tangential force this 2t will apply some torque and and we can find out torque using angular acceleration i alpha then we will get alpha 2 4t 
by MR okay 40 by MR then total a a acceleration acceleration would be a1 plus a2 because of this angular acceleration alpha 1 this portion this portion will have linear acceleration a1 and this one will always have a linear acceleration a2 okay this sum of this total linear acceleration is a total acceleration of this body of this lower cylinder okay uh, that will be equal to what we have a, a, a1 will be r1 alpha means r alpha 1 should be r alpha 1 plus r alpha 2 okay then a will be equal to we know alpha 140 by mr both are same then you just add this up what you will get r alpha 1 alpha 2 both are same then you will get 8 t by m 8 t by m is equal to acceleration this is the acceleration with which it, this this body this, this whole 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 cylinder is moving in downward direction that is 2 t by r now we have a relationship between t and m we have two equation okay we have two equation and two unknown is like a like a previous problem right we generally have for this kind of problem if we have a point mass generally we get two equation in t and a and and t and a and we solve it and we get the equation uh, we get the relation here uh, here this is not a point mass then we we get one more equation because we don't have point mass and uh, on solving this one we get ultimately this two equation okay Bas basically both are same but little bit complexity here then we applied the torque concept also to get more parameter right because here we have more parameter okay now if you solve this to a is equal to 8t by m here you will put it you will get the tension on the string right so 2t minus 8t uh, if i am right 8t here you will put it here it would be equal to mg if that is correct then minus 60 should be equal to mg but looks like there is something wrong somewhere it's a, this should not be minus 6 yes actually this equation is wrong actually mg minus 2t should be ma because 2t 2t is there in this direction and mg in downward ma is also downward then this should be mg minus 2t okay mg minus 2t this should be uh, 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 mg minus 2t then you will get 8t minus 2t it means you 60 then total tension t should be equal to mg by 6 that's your answer see you in the next video bye